Hi everyone, I'm very excited to welcome you on the Exploitation 4011. This training is going to be about Windows Kernel Exploitation, exploiting a rage condition which becomes a use after free in the Kernel Transaction Manager. Let's get started. Basically what we're going to try to go over in this course is just explaining what is involved in exploiting a Windows Kernel vulnerability in general. You just need to be able to diff a bug, understand what components it is in, and be comfortable with reversing, and just learn a bunch of stuff along the way that you'll need for exploiting the vulnerability. A lot of people feel like Windows kernel exploitation is not approachable, I suppose, because they don't have enough prerequisite knowledge yet, which maybe you'll see is not necessarily true. In that vein, a lot, a lot of what we are going to cover is binary diffing and reversing a specific patch for the bug that will cover and sort of our approach to cleaning up reversing databases so it is much more similar to reading C code and then you'll have a good foundation to figure out what you need to learn to actually explore the vulnerability. Everything is going to be focused on Windows 10 1809 which was the latest version of Windows 10 vulnerable to that bug that we will be focusing on. Part of that will be about understanding the tools. A lot of the course examples is centered around just encouraging everyone to spend time using the tools. Basically, the more time you spend in tools in general, the better. One of the things that is going to be interesting to some degree is that this course is not going to be like a crazy brain dump of kernel internals. Because the thing we want to get across is that you don't really need to read all of a book like Windows Internals or know everything about the Windows kernel to really exploit Windows kernel memory corruption vulnerabilities. That being said, feel free to refer to the Architecture 2011 course for some general Windows Internals that we will assume you are familiar with. The most important aspect of this course is confidence building, I suppose. If you're following this course, I assume you have already exploited at least some other memory corruption vulnerabilities in other pieces of software. So I'm pretty sure you are capable of following this course. That being said, this course will show you the general approach so you can more easily exploit vulnerabilities and see where it is worth spending time to solve the problems we generally encounter when trying to exploit memory corruption vulnerabilities. We'll start by checking the debug environment that is required to do the whole training by building it on top of the DBG3011 training and adding all the KTM specifics. We will do some binary diffing to locate where the bug is in the patch. We will explain some kernel transaction userland APIs that we can call from userland to trigger some specifics in kernelland and we'll go over some KTM, like kernel transaction manager structures into the kernel that are touched by the driver, which is called tm.sys or transaction manager. We will go over the methods to understand what the vulnerability is by combining both our binary diffing approach and the actual kernel transaction manager structures that are touched into the kernel. Then we will analyze how to patch things in the debugger in WinBag to confirm there is a race condition vulnerability but without having to deal with actually triggering the race condition. Once we have confirmed that with the debugger, the idea is we are able to split exploit tasks between different people. So one person can actually focus on solving exploitation problems to find techniques to get an arbitrary read-write primitive. And the other person can actually focus on actually winning the race condition without the debugger. Then we'll basically work on actual exploitation techniques and problems for the rest of the training. So we'll focus on kernel heap manipulation and ways to do heap feng shui on the kernel pool in order to abuse our use after free vulnerability successfully. So we'll show a very common approach in kernel exploitation, which is to find a way to detect we won the race condition and then exit the actual vulnerable function cleanly and return to username. The goal of that, if we do that initially, is then we are able to trigger different scenarios without crashing, and so it's easier to debug the exploit without having to restore a snapshot many times. We will then look into finding a kernel address 
revelation so we can bypass Canal SLR. We will then show how to effectively win the race condition without the help of the debugger. Finally, we will show how to build an arbitrary read-write primitive to export the vulnerability. At the end of this course, the goal is to have a workable exploit working on Windows 10, 18 or 9 that allows you to elevate privileges for your own process to system. Let's get started.